this video, I'll be discussing SQL State's advanced restore features, namely Instant Restore, Virtual Database, and Object Level Recovery. These advanced restore features allow you to quickly restore an entire database or specific objects out of the database that you're interested in. To start off, I'll talk about Instant Restore. Unlike a normal restore operation, Instant Restore breaks the restore operation into two different phases. In the first phase, SQL Safe simply restores the structure of the database, then brings it online. Once the database is online, we move on to the second phase called hydration. During hydration, SQL Safe essentially pumps the data back into the database files. But keep in mind that the database is already online at this point, so users are actually able to gain access to the database, start running queries against it as though it is a fully functional database, even though the restore operation is still ongoing. And that is one of the key benefits of Instant Restore, the ability to, ability to gain access to your database much quicker than a tr traditional normal restore operation. Now to demonstrate this feature, I've already performed a uh, few traditional restore operations as well as the instant restore. And you can see here the vast time difference. With the traditional restore operations, it, take, it took roughly around 40 seconds for the restore to complete. Now keep in mind that that's 40 seconds for this particular database that I'm testing with. Um, that's also 40 seconds before users had to wait before they were able to gain access. Now previously, you can see here, I ran an instant restore operation and it took three seconds before the instant restore brought the database online and then it moved into the hydration phase. And the hydration phase, it took another 19 seconds to complete. Overall total was about 21 seconds for the whole restore operation. Still, again, much faster than you would see with a traditional restore. Now I'm going to run through it again just so you can see how you would normally do it. So I select restore, select database, I select my target SQL Server instance, um, select the database that I want to restore. In this particular case, I'm going to go with that first one. Select the backup file that I want to use for my restore operation. And I am going to rename this as IR and select the force restore because the database already exists. I want the database to be fully accessible once the restore is completed and I am going to use the instant restore. And again, this is just to demonstrate the instant restore ability. And again, within a few, few seconds, you can see that the database is almost completely online and then it moves on to the hydration phase. And again, keep in mind, it took a few seconds longer maybe, but the database is still online much sooner than you would see with the traditional normal restore. Moving along, I want to talk about virtual database. Now virtual database is a slightly different technology. Rather than actually restoring the database, what we're actually doing is we're tricking SQL Server into believing the database has been restored when we're in actuality we're reading the data out of the backup file. Now there's a couple benefits to using virtual database. Uh, the firstly is that you're able to gain access to your database much quicker than you would with a normal restore. Uh, the second part is that if you're limited on this space but you need to have the database restored for whatever reason, you can use virtual database. Again, because we're reading the data out of the backup file. Now that's not to say that we're, we're not going to write some data to the disk, but it's not going to be the entire size of the actual database itself. Now to demonstrate, let me first go ahead and take a look at the my D drive because that's where I'm going to be restoring the database to. And I will take a screenshot of the D drive for reference. So there's my before screenshot and I am going to go ahead and mount a virtual database. And to do so is very quite simple. Click Mount Virtual Database, select my target SQL Server instance. Um, I'm going to use the same database, same backup file, and notice that the virtual database name is already has VDB appended to it, so basically we're restoring it as a new database. And you can see here that I am restoring it to the D drive. I'm going to go ahead and mount the virtual database, and then refresh, and you can see that the database is already available, it's online. And if I come back to SQL Server Management Studio and refresh the list of databases, you can see the VDBs here. And again, it is accessible. You know, I can run my queries against it. 
I'm able to access it. And SQL Safe basically is, like, like I mentioned earlier, it's reading the data out of the back of file in real time. Real quickly, let's take a look at the properties of this database. And you can see the size of the database is roughly around close to 2 gigs in size. And the database files are on the D drive. Sorry, on the D drive. So looking at the screenshot that I took earlier, and then let's go look at the actual size of the D drive now. Sorry. And you can see that it has increased some, but not nearly as much as you would expect given that the database is almost two gigs in size. So you can see how virtual database is really nice there in terms of saving this space if you're limited on it. Now moving along to object level recovery, that's another feature that is one of the SQL States Advanced Restore features. If, if you're just, just inter interested in restoring a particular object out of the database, the object level recovery is great for that. Um, to do so, you simply right click on the instance name, select object level recovery, select your target SQL Server instance, and in this particular case, I'm going to restore a different database. Um, actually, let me select it from the file system instead. So I'm going to browse, go to my D drive, because that's where I store my backups. And I'm going to select my backup file that I want to use. This is, the, again, the backup file that I want to be using for the object level recovery. And on object slot selection, on this tab, this is where you would select basically the object that you want to restore. In this particular case, I'm just going to restore the customer's table. And notice the database name that we're using here. And I'm just going to click Recover, Refresh. Now, object level recovery does take a little bit longer than you would see with the virtual database or instant restore. Well, maybe not the entire virtual. It really depends on the size of the database that you were restoring and the object that we were restoring. But once the operation is complete here, we'll go take a look inside of SQL Server Management Studio and just see that you're able to actually access that particular object that we just restored. So I'm going to refresh the list of databases here. And you can see Northwind OLR. OLR stands for Object Level Recovery. And if I expand tables, you will only see that one particular table that I had selected to restore. And again, that basically covers the three different features that SQL Safe has built in in terms of advanced restore features. And just to repeat, those advanced restore features are instant restore, virtual database, and object level recovery. I hope this video has been informational, and thank you for watching.